Oh gosh, is it gonna be a boss fight? No shot is this going to be a boss fight right now. And what's written on all of this? Well met, my friend. This is incredible, dude. No way, no way. I'm just kind of taking in this music as well. So well met, my friend. Ah, uh, they've been writing. My apologies. I'm just finishing up this last paragraph. Is it so important that you have to write it down right now? So much. So did they write everything in here? <laughs> Every story needs an ending. Wow, and it's like they're levitating, right? The, the pen or whatever they're writing with. Right. All done now. Like, are they going to transform into some evil monster being or something? Welcome to my humble little library, my friend. I'm really loving this song. It might look dreary, but many intriguing events from the past are etched into these pillars. So, Soul G is still a chronicler. What other secrets are you hiding? <laughs> Please, don't misunderstand. I only use these crystals for personal note keeping. They help me recall memories worth remembering. It began as a casual hobby, but look at what it's become. Cut the chatter and give it to me straight. Why have you been secretly approaching me? I want to know more about you. That is all. Like a lighthouse standing tall in the night sky, great figures like yourself will always shine with a certain splendor. A splendor not dimmed by mortality. Okay. All right. <laughs> Due, perhaps, to some divine prank, age means nothing to me. Dude, I thought I was going to go into way more terrifying, you know, transformation kind of thing. <laughs> so, some divine prank, age means nothing to me. Huh? Impossible. How long have you lived? <laughs> How could this be possible, right? I don't understand it either, even after several lifetimes. Why was I given this miracle? I have neither grand ambitions nor excessive desires. I have never coveted power, nor did I seek to bring about peace. Even on the brink of apocalypse, I did not feel the need to save anyone. Through every era, those that I have cared about always leave me behind. You're ageless and immortal. That's an ability that many can only dream of. That's true if you're a spectator, but for me, it feels more like a curse. Alas, I also lack the courage to end this curse myself. Does my mentor, does Aegong know about this too? I don't get it. Why did you choose to join the council? The Dion Huo virus doesn't seem to have an effect on you at all. <sighs> Staying in Peng Lai meant eternal loneliness. Oh, that's true, right? And I have endured enough loneliness. Besides, I made a promise, however meaningless, to protect this grotto for a friend. Just hand over your soul seal and I guarantee the grotto will not be harmed in any way. No shot or they just can't hand it over. Oh. Oh? Are you going easy on me? You never participated much in the council, and... I'm not keen on exterminating the ancient Kunlun tribe. I just need your permission. I don't want to fight. But I have never disobeyed destiny. Ooh. Have you forgotten already? 
I have always held great confidence in the answers my divination provides. What? What did you see in the hexagrams? I'm so sorry, but you will die by my hand today. Ye. <laughs> Standing before you is the deputy captain of the Fangxi Guild Elite Guard, Sojourner G. May the clouds part and allow truth's light to illuminate our decisive battle. Indulge me with a sparring session, friend. Yo, this seriously a boss fight. Dang, well, no way. What am I supposed to do? Hit it? Wait, wait. Okay, you choose one. Cool. <laughs> Dang, guys. Oh my gosh. Recharge up. This is incredible. Dude, this is so awesome. I don't know. Wow, wow. <laughs> Yo, this is so much fun. Dang, good hits. Wow, this music, guys. It's incredible. Is this the hardest one? This is the one they just chose. And it goes back. How sick was that? Kind of like that last one. Here's a new one. Oh, I just wasted it. You have to heal up. It's the last of our healing. Gosh, how many of these do you have? Almost a half way. Oh, good hit. Oh, gosh! Free hits here. We're at halfway at least. I'll take it. I'm dead, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, that was awesome, man. That was so cool. I can't believe it. I wasn't expecting a boss fight. Dude, this is dedicated to all the legends. Attempt number two right now. My gosh. Okay. Dang, they got lucky. Dude, we're already doing better than last time. Hey, we grabbed one. This is... Is this new? I don't know. Nice. Get some free hits right here, dude. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm just completely missing. Dude, can I swap arrows mid-fight? This music is incredible, bro. I'm going for the Shadow Hunter. It's kind of giving them a taste of their own medicine right now. Nice. 
dude. No shot. No shot. You think it's gonna be that easy? <laughs> this gotta be two faces, bro. It's gotta be. Pick up this corpse. Okay, moment of truth. Is there a second phase? It's gotta be. It's time to end this. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's about to go. It's about to get real, bro. Every boss fight was easy for phase one. Dude, okay. Now noticing those are daggers. Wow, okay. I'm dead, bro. Okay. Oh gosh. Yo, phase one's a, is pretty easy, man. Um, phase two, we gotta land that. When they do that slam move, that's definitely an opening for that right there. Okay, this is third attempt. It, it can't be three, guys. It can't be three phases, right? go for whatever dang there we go go good job guys I love how different all the music has been for all the different boss fights almost there oh oops <laughs> oh good hit good hit have to heal up once oh we've been getting this one a bunch almost We got it. Come on. It's time to end this. It's time to end this. Come on. We could do it. <laughs> oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. How did we miss that? Oh, it's the same one? Oh, missed time that one. Okay, it's not worth it. I'm dead. It's an amazing idea to chuck those out. That was really dumb. Gives me a different one right now. Oh, sick. Okay. <laughs> that 
That was cool, bro. That move right there is a gift that you need to counter. Come on, guys, please. We're, we're so close. Oh, darn it. Amazing, bro. And you need to destroy that thing or it's going to keep doing the shockwaves. Dude, amazing attempt. I mean, we might... I'm not going to say anything. No, I'm not jinxing it. I'm not jinxing it, guys. Come on. We're just learning the mechanics, bro. Come on, guys. Just be smart. Be patient. We can do this. And this is the eighth soul. We only have one after this one. I'd love to get it today. Oh, darn it. <laughs> nice save there. Oof, didn't think I got that one, to be honest with you. Which one's this? Just this one, right? Oh, gosh. Oh. Dude, I, I'm... Oh, gosh. Uh, dude, I'm just like crumbling right now. I'm dead. Bad run. Bad run for me, everyone. Oof. Sorry about that. That wasn't good. We can do way better. We can do way better than that. Come on, man. Oh, it's just... Uh, it was going so well. You know, I think I was just recovering from the shock of getting hit by the green charge move. That one's a gift. It's a present. If somebody hands you a present, you got to accept it, right? That one's asking to be parried. How's it going? But I am learning tricks, dude. For sure. Like this right here. That's a nice little window to hit them. Oh. Dude, worst thing we could have done there. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, dude. I just lost 2K. I just lost 2K, bro. All right, it's fine. I don't... I should just spend the money, dude. Teleport to the pavilion. Spend your money. It's not rocket science, right? That's what you gotta do. I do not want to bring any more money into these boss fights. Like, we gotta go back and just buy whatever the heck we want, but it's gonna be one less thing we need to worry about now, so that's good. Come on.
Yeah, just nice punish there, dude. And we have the deflection. Here we go. And I think we got it. Going in with full health and our corpse still on the field. This is what happens when you make me lose 2k. I go all out. <laughs> You've awakened the beast! Come on. Okay, now it's gonna be the little dance parry thing with this one. Yep. Let's go, guys. Beautiful work. We're so close. No choking. We're good. Oh, gosh. Very close. I think that's it, dude. Let's go! Did we actually do it? Really? Dang, dude, we destroyed that. If that's actually the whole boss fight. You know what? It feels good. I took forever on the last two bosses, dude. The twins took me like over two hours. And then Lady Ethereal took me. I don't even remember how long that one took. It was a very tough fight, though, man. Um, that was awesome. Good job, guys. Let's go. That was sick. So uh, let's see here. G is saying, how nostalgic. Your moves feel exactly like his. Oh, like Lear, maybe. It appears that your hexagrams have failed you. Because they said that we were going to die right here by their hands. Unless, if I told you the result, would you still have tried your utmost? Ah. Oh. Yeah. True. That's true right there, man. You know what I mean? It's that uncertainty that makes us go all out. 100%, dude. 100%. Heck yeah. I can tell you one thing, man. For this Dreamality experience... I've been trying this for years now, guys. I'm going like seven years of uh, trying to make content here, man. Trying to grow on YouTube. Shout out to everyone who's been supporting the channel. We just passed 3,000 subscribers. And I've been trying to grow this into something so awesome. I've been giving in my all. Do I know what the outcome is at the end of this journey? I have no idea. Like, do I actually reach 5,000 subscribers? Do I ever reach 10,000 subscribers? Um, you know, 25K would be phenomenal. You know what I mean? Do I know if that's ever going to happen? I have no idea. You know, I'm just trying my best. If somebody were to tell me, yeah, I was going to get there. Like, that's your future. Would I be putting in all this work right now? It's the thing, man. I don't think most people would. If they're like, oh, no matter what, that's the fate, then yeah, I'm not going to try. Why would I try if that's how things are meant to be, right? That is uh, another amazing line. And I mean, they're just bleeding all over the place. 
brutal. Um, they weren't an evil character, that's for sure. So if I told you the result, would you still have tried your utmost? At least one of us got to enjoy the thrill of the unknown. Wow, man. Yeah, it's the unknown, dude. Makes me think of like Alan Watts, bro. If you know the answer to absolutely everything, life is gonna get pretty dull pretty fast, right? And here this person's been immortal. Like they've been around for a very long time. At least one of us got to enjoy the thrill of the unknown. You lied to me? Like they knew, they knew they were dying, right? But they also said that they, they wanted it to be over and they couldn't do it themselves pretty much. A good story needs an interesting twist, does it not? <coughs> wow. Is this the end? Dang, bro, I'm getting chills right now, dude. And it's like making me tear up a little bit, dude, just because it's like... Huh, I just feel for them. I have witnessed the springs of... Dian Shan burst forth and dry out. I have seen the long shadows cast by mountains of corpses as night fell at Fangshan. Wow, look at them, right? It's like all their hair furs. They're losing it. But they're finding peace, huh? I was there when the Dong Huang bell rang for the first time. I walked through countless cities, drowned in time. All of it has now attained wholeness within the Tao. Like a shooting star that sears its mark between heaven and earth. Dang. Much love, dude. So we got G's hair here. A strand of hair taken from G. Its specific purpose is unclear. G's corpse never showed any signs of decay. The usual Dian Huo flowers were also absent. Oh, this is the answer to the serum. We have the second piece of the puzzle. Yeah, I was wondering, yeah, there's been no there's no grass, right? Like that happened after with all the other souls. And, uh, hey, you know what, it's the light going through and stuff, and everything they've written down. This music is so good, dude. And then they said every story needs an end, so they probably wrote it in there about their end. Let's go collect this soul. Must have been insight. I don't remember if we did that already, but... I'm excited to see this next part here with this storytelling, because I always love that. Bro, definitely one of the best games I played this year. I'm gonna tell you that right now. This game is phenomenal. This is how it all started. Like, gosh, how long ago was this? Guardian of life, master of time, we worship you. Hmm. I, Jai Tong, born as a warrior. Oh, shall perish as a hero. Dang, we've read up on them. That's like their ancestors of, uh, of Jai Quan, right? It is so epic, man. God, we are going through the, like, the roots, dude. Farewell, my friend. The struggles of life and death no longer concern me. We got Aegong, what's going on? Aegong has like the root in the back of their head. 
We have finally transcended our destiny with our own hands. We are no longer mortal. Dude, we are no longer mortal? Like, you're immortal now, Aegon? Dang, dude. This is just so incredible, guys. Ah, uh, the art is so powerful, and it really makes me feel like I am, like, reading a manga, and I've got so much nostalgia. I haven't read one in so long, dude, but I used to, I mean, I read through all of Naruto. I used to love reading them back in the day, and this makes me want to go through uh, some manga again, because it's been far too long, and I love this storytelling so much. All of it has now attained wholeness within the Tao. Thank you. There we go, everybody. So, Seal of G. A soul seal is the greatest symbol of power in the council and a key to unlock the council code. It is a soul's proof of authority. G soul seal containing the character Gui signifies insight. Let's go. We got it right. Oh, it's definitely so much about this game are things that you saw early on and they have a completely different meaning by the time you finish the game. So if I were to revisit this game and replay from the very beginning, I'm just it, all these things that are right in front of you. All right, they just have such a different meaning and stuff. It's so awesome, like this character talking with them. And it's like, hey, this has been the eighth soul this entire time. And this is their story. And then just seeing like, um, you know, the characters die and the plant sprouts and stuff. And then seeing the soldiers, we now know where they come from. Like, it's so much. And it's all there in the beginning, but now, oh, it's under a new light. Amazing character. So G, one of the ten souls in the council and keeper of the Grotto of Scriptures. G is a mysterious immortal being and an ancient resident of Kunlun who seems to have been present throughout all of Solarian history. G often observed the world as a bystander, following the rise and ultimate demise of countless great individuals over the centuries. These experiences made him deeply envious of those who ended their lives spectacularly Spectacularly, 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 <laughs> spectacular Larry, spectacularly, <laughs> spectacularly, spectacularly, bro. <laughs> I keep trying to say spectacular Larry, dude. Oh gosh. These experiences made him deeply envious of those who ended their lives spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> spectacularly bro it's just spectacularly these experiences made him deeply envious ah oh, gosh these experiences made him deeply envious of those who ended their lives <laughs> it's like it's like not even it's not a funny subject at all it's like the opposite you shouldn't be laughing at this i'm just laughing because i'm an idiot and i'm having trouble saying spectacularly there we said it. I just want to get this set through this one sentence, dude. These experiences made him deeply envious of those who ended their lives spectacularly and sparked a yearning in him for his own magnificent curtain call. We did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> I think it took me more attempts to pronounce that word right than it did to fight this boss. That was awesome. Progress 68%. We are one away from a magical number right now. 68%. Will we actually be able to uh, catch it at that number? Yo, what's up? Oh, you got a little vinyl here too. So we have the Shanai uh, 1000. <laughs> the Shanai 1000. A much earlier model. How's it going? Booting, loading, initializing. Hello, thank you for using the Shanghai 1000 testing module. Model. 
I am the latest assistive, yeah, the, the latest, right? Assistive robot capable of deep learning through conversation. Feel free to browse the database or engage me in in-depth Q&A. Shanghai 1000, is this a prototype? <laughs> what an antique. Incorrect, that command does not exist in the database. It doesn't seem too bright. Incorrect, that command doesn't exist in the database. Give me a status report on this region. Incorrect, oh gosh. Well then. What were you made to do? Shanghai is a public welfare experiment funded by the Fang Shi Guild, okay. I can look up information, play audio files, calculate mathematical equations, and make noodles. Ooh. The purpose of the Shanghai 1000 shifted constantly throughout its 50 year development period. It currently has no clear purpose. Please contact the developers if you would like to purchase one. You were there when the Fang Shi Guild was still active? Okay. Keyword confirmed Fang Shi Guild retrieving. The Fang Shi Guild is an international scientific organization founded by the thinker Lear. Its purpose was to put an end to all wars. Lear believed that peace could be found using science, so he gathered those with lofty ideals, and together they built a research complex on the island of Kun Lun. Today, the guild is home to the most advanced technology on Panglai, as demonstrated in Kun Lun's sustainable development zone. The guild's technology spread to every corner of the world and helped to end the century-long food and energy crisis. However, Lear has also been launching non-compliance movements due to each nation's lack of interest in his anti-war initiatives. This move has paralyzed operations in all major governments and institutions. Uh, Xena says hi, by the way, everyone, Irish Wolf found in the next room. Uh, she's also trying to tell me all about the history here with uh, the Fang Shi Guild and Lear. So why are you in G's warehouse? Keyword confirmed G, loading G's latest development log. First month of year 3773, turbulent era, we installed the third iteration of the head. I wanted to put a real fish inside, but the maintenance wouldn't, uh, the, but the maintenance would have been too costly. Wow, it ended up being a display instead. I wanted to fill it with water due to the whole design concept. This robot would represent the seas and mountains of Panglai. Lear told me that I didn't need to use its appearance to symbolize Panglai. He kept asking me to cut features from the Shanghai 1000 to make it more practical, but I don't want it to be mass produced. Spectators innately understand that fireworks from afar always look prettier than those in your midst. I wonder how many more years will I be able to converse with him. And goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, friend. Feel free to leave a review and any comments about your experience. That was amazing, guys. Oh, is there anything else here? Let me request chip. Yeah, removing map data chip will cause irreversible damage. Yeah, copy for 400 units. Dude, I think I'm broke. I am... <clears throat> I'm broke again, guys. I have no money. This happens every time. But I'm gonna take this song here. I once observed Master Yi training when he conjured a glowing sword out of nothing. His connection to Chi is astounding. <laughs> and they all share it. Okay, so I just listened to all of that. Um, definitely understood some of it, you know, at least like um, I heard some English in there. That was super weird. I wonder if that was like, like, was this game kickstarted or something? I know sometimes games will include backers, I guess, in some ways. I've definitely experienced games like that, unless this was the developers just having fun, giving a shout out to everybody who worked on this game. Like, they each had a voice in this, and they got to choose what they wanted to say. I mean, I heard What a Wonderful World in there as well, like, this song. So, it was just, it was a lot of random, 
all of it. So I wonder if it was a Kickstarter thing or if it was just the, the developers having fun. But no matter what, I appreciate them putting that in there. Heck yeah. Let me see. Do we do we get do we get to that number? We're still on 68. Okay, so there's officially nothing else here. This is just where they were writing everything. And I guess we're good to get out of here. Ah. Goodbye, friend. Thank you. It's been updated. We need to go back, yeah. Back to Abacus. All right, we're just jumping down, and I say we just save up. I'm surprised we didn't get a call from Abacus, dude. All right, we'll save up right there, everyone. Well, we took on the boss. We crushed them pretty fast. It was a super fun fight. I loved it. The animation, like the change in gameplay uh, with the different things you could activate, and then the music was really good, and of course, the storytelling, the writing, always... Learning more about these characters is always a treat. I had an amazing time and I hope you had some fun as well. Thank you so much as always for watching, for all the love, all the support. If you had some fun, make sure to press the like button. A massive shout out to our channel members and patrons. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I hope to see you soon. Later, later.